Hi, I'm Jacqueline. I work here at Layman's and today I'm going to show you how to assemble and light an Aladdin lamp. And first I'll go through and uh, tell you all the different parts that go into an Aladdin lamp. First over here I have the chimney. And then this is the mantle. This part is the gallery. And this part here is the burner. It contains the wick. And then this ring is the shade ring. And you do not need a shade ring if you aren't using a shade. And this part here is the font. And then this last part over here is the shade. Okay, the first step in assembly is you want to take the burner and screw it onto the font. Um, now if you're going to be using a shade, the shade ring, if you can see, you have to put that in between the burner and the font because that keep, holds it on and keeps it stable. So you'll take the burner and you'll just twist it, twist it on until it's snug. Okay. And then you'll turn the wick up so about an eighth of an inch is showing. You don't want it up very high, so you just turn it up a little bit. All right, and then after you get the burner on, the next step you want to do is um, fit your chimney to the gallery. Uh, you do not want it to be too tight because um, it needs room to expand when the chimney gets heated. You just make sure it's snug so it doesn't fall out. And then you will take it back out. And then you'll take the mantle and screw it onto the gallery here. And you do this after you fit the chimney because the mantles are really fragile and so if the chimney or something would happen to touch this net here, it would dissolve and the mantle, you'd have to use a new mantle. So you make sure this is screwed in there tight and then you reassemble the chimney very carefully. And then you set this piece aside as one unit for right now. After you get the chimney and mantle assembled to the gallery, you will then want to fill your lamp with the fuel. And most Aladdin lamps have a spot here where you can just pour the fuel right into the lamp. Uh, so you'll just take the filler cap off, fill it up with your fuel, and then screw the cap back on. And then after you have the fuel in there, you want to be sure to let it set for about an hour, especially if you're using a new wick because you want to let the wick um, soak up the fuel. Um, that way, when you go to burn, or to light your lamp, uh, the fuel will burn instead of the wick. After your lamp has set for an hour after you pour the fuel in, you will want to go ahead and just light the wick. So, And when you light the wick, you want to be sure that the flame makes a full circle around there. And that way your wick and mantle will, will burn evenly and you won't, will just make a better light that way. Then you will um, want to install the gallery unit onto the flame and you'll just want to be very careful not to touch the flame with your hands or anything because this will all get very hot. So you'll take it. and screw it on and then you will turn the wick up a little bit so the mantle starts to glow and you'll wait about 20 minutes before you uh, turn the wick up anymore because you want to allow the chimney to warm up slowly so it does not break due to um, being heated too quickly. After you wait the 20 minutes you can go ahead and turn the wick up and as you can see here the mantle will get a lot brighter as you turn the wick up. Um, after you have your mantle at the brightness that you like, you can go ahead and put your shade on then. And just be very careful as you are putting that on. And try not to get your hands over the top of the chimney because there is a lot of heat that comes out of the top of the chimney. To extinguish your lamp, you will want to turn the wick all the way down to where the knob does not turn anymore. 
Cup your hand behind the chimney and blow directly straight across the chimney. Do not blow into it.